In this video, I'm going to talk about how to avoid recreating or reinitializing the initial state while working with use state in React. Now, I'm mostly going to talk about initializing your use state with a function. So one thing you need to remember is React saves the initial state once and ignores it on the next re-renders. So for now, let's just ignore this function that I have created over here. And over here, instead of calling the function, let's say I just initiate it with an array which has a few numbers. So if I initialize use state with this array, then that means every time the state changes and the component re-renders, React will not initialize this state over and over again. That's because we have directly initialized this state with some value. All right. That is the general principle React follows, that it saves the initial state once and ignores it on the next three renders. However, there's a catch here. Before I go ahead and explain that, let's just have a look at this component. So in this component, we have a simple input and then a button. And in the button, whenever we on click, it just sets the text as empty. So whatever we have typed over here, it gets reset whenever I click on add. And then in the set to do, it just adds the new to do that I'm adding on the input. All right, and then over here, we are just displaying whatever we have set into the to do state. So we are just mapping through the to do's and displaying everything that's there within the to do state. All right, so now I'm going to remove this array that I initialized over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment this function and I'm going to put this function over here and I'm going to call it directly. So what this function does is it's initializing the to do state. Right. So basically we are calling this function over here. Whenever we use parenthesis and we call the function, this returns nothing but the result of this function. So this function over here is returning the initial to do's. So this use state will be initialized with the result of create initial to do's, which is nothing but what this function returns. Now, what is this function returning? This function is returning an initial list of 50 items in an array of objects format. So over here, we are utilizing a for loop. And then within the initial to do's array, we are just passing id and a text and the text is nothing but item plus i plus one and that's why it iterates from one to 50 uh, you can see 50 over here and then in the end we're just returning an array of objects that contains the items from item one to item 50 and that is what this to do's is being initialized as that's why in the very first render we are able to see 50 items on the screen right because you're mapping it down here now there's a problem with this approach. The main problem here is we are utilizing this parenthesis over here. Whenever we add a normal value over here, like the array example I showed you, like when we add an array of one, two, three, then React makes sure that the state doesn't initialize again upon re-renders. But when we call a function like this, with its parenthesis, even though we are just displaying the result of this create initial to do's function over here as the initial state of the to do's, what happens is whenever we initialize like this, the React state reinitializes or keeps initializing the state over and over again during every re render. So, what I mean by this is to give you an example in this function, I'll go here on the top and I'll say console.log re render. All right. So now I'll show you that whenever we call a function like this, whenever the application re-renders, React keeps reinitializing this state again and again, which is something what React doesn't usually do when we directly put a value over here. But that reinitialization of the state happens when we call a function over here during the initialization of the state. Just to show you that if I go to my console and I empty this, and if I start typing anything on the input, so in the input code during on change, we are calling a state, right? So whenever the state updates, the component re-renders. So when I start to type something over here, you can see the re-render, it has re-rendered 42 times. If I keep typing, it keeps re-rendering. It has already rendered 66 times now. So for each key press, it keeps on re-rendering. So this means that the initial state keeps re-rendering, which is not how React usually works. React makes sure that all the states that has been declared on top, they are initialized only once and they are not reinitialized during subsequent re-renders. That is something React does to optimize its performance. But we are seeing now that every time I call the function like this, it reinitializes the state over and over again. So to fix this, what the React doc says is, instead of calling the function like this with the parenthesis, we should just write the function itself. So I'll not call the function, I'll just pass the function itself. All right, so now, if I clear the console and if I try to type something, 
you will see the re-render doesn't get printed on the console log. No matter how many times I type on the input, there is not even a single re-render being logged in the console. So this means when I remove the parenthesis, the state is not re-initialized over and over again during each re-render. So this is a much better way of initializing your state while working with functions. And this is important to know because in cases where we decide to initialize our function and the function is doing some heavy calculation, let's say there are like 100,000 or millions of iterations or operations going on within this function, Function, then whenever the state change this function would have to get reinitialized right if I call this function with a parenthesis now because of that heavy calculation going on over here it would slow down our application significantly because it would keep re-rendering over and over again on every state change or on every component re-render and that would reinitialize this function on and on again and this calculation would be huge and that would cause a lot of performance delays so the best thing is whenever you want to utilize functions to initialize your react state make sure to not add this parenthesis and to just just pass the function name directly. In that case, no matter how many times I write in the input or I type in the input, you'll see nothing was logged out in the console, which means this function wasn't called again and again during each state change or during every component re-render and this state was initialized only once, which is much better for your performance. So that is all about this video. This is a very important thing you should know to optimize your React performance. It's a small concept, but it's definitely useful and also asked during a lot of interviews. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as usual, stay tuned for more.